welcome back to my channel and welcome to another weekly WW meal prep. I have some amazing recipes in store for you and I am more excited to happily announce that I will now be including the points for all three plans in my meal prep video. So you'll get blue, green, and purple points for all of the dishes that I show you. That should just help you a little bit in your meal prep journey, and it just makes it a little bit easier for you, which is exactly what I'm here for. So I have a breakfast, a lunch, and a snack coming your way for this week, all of which are delicious and WW friendly. So if you wanna see what I have in store for this week's meal prep, just stay tuned. For my breakfast this week, I'm going to be making a pigs in a blanket pancake bake. This sounds so good. Sausage, syrup, pancakes, yum. So let me show you what is in our breakfast. First, you're going to need some monk fruit sweetener or sweetener alternative of your choice. I purchased mine at Costco. You can also buy this on Nettrition. It has a great price as well. And there's a link down in the description box for Nettrition. You'll also need some all-purpose flour, sugar-free syrup, milk or milk alternative of your choice. I'm just trying to use up the last here of my fair life so that I no longer purchase this brand. We also have some cinnamon, baking powder, vanilla extract, salt. I'm gonna be using the Jimmy Dean fully cooked turkey sausage crumbles. You can also use raw turkey or turkey sausage or chicken sausage, whatever your preference is. I'm gonna do this to save a step. And then you're going to need some light butter, and some eggs. So let's get started on our breakfast. So the first thing we're gonna do is take our bag of turkey sausage crumbles. I'm gonna be using the entire bag, which is just over half a pound, which is what the recipe calls for. It does not change the points. I'm gonna be adding about a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup, just directly to the bag here. I think that's the easiest way. And then I'm gonna seal it up and I'm gonna kind of move it around. That way we're not dirtying another dish. We just wanna kind of soak our sausage in the maple syrup, and then we're ready to put together the pancake portion of our breakfast. For the pancake portion of our breakfast, I'm gonna take two cups of flour and add it here to a medium-sized bowl. And then to that, I am gonna go ahead and add in just a little bit of cinnamon. And you can go ahead and do this to your liking. The recipe calls for about a teaspoon, so I definitely wanna put in about a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we're gonna add just a pinch of salt. And again, the recipe wants about a half of a teaspoon of salt. And next, we're gonna add one tablespoon spoon of baking powder. And then lastly, we're gonna go ahead and add two tablespoons of our sweetener. And again, I'm using the monk fruit, it's my fave. So two tablespoons of that. And then the last thing we're gonna do is give this a quick mix. We wanna make sure all of our dry ingredients get nice and combined together before we add in our wet ingredients. Now we're ready to add our wet ingredients to our pre-mixed dry ingredients. So I'm gonna add my one and a half cups of low-fat milk. You can use almond milk or a milk alternative if you'd like. Just make sure that it doesn't change the point. So it's gotta be either a Fair Life or a Kroger Carb Master or an almond milk of some sort. So one and a half cups of that. We're also going to add in two cracked eggs. And I went ahead and melted down one tablespoon of, I can't believe it's not butter light. And then lastly, we're gonna put in about a teaspoon worth of our vanilla extract. We're gonna give this a stir. Your batter is going to be lumpy. So once this is all combined, we're gonna go ahead and add in our sausage. Once your batter is nice and mixed together, we're gonna go ahead and add in the sausage that we coated with the maple syrup. Oh, that looks so good and smells so good. So we're gently going to fold in our sausage. Now, if you don't wanna fold it into your batter, you can go ahead and sprinkle it on top, but I'm just gonna fold it right in. And then we're ready to get this into our pan and into the oven. So we're ready to get our pancake bake into our pan. So I have a nine by 13 pan here. I'm just going to generously spray it with some non-stick cooking spray. We certainly don't want our pancakes to stick. And then look at this batter with that sausage, yum. And it smells so sweet and delicious from the syrup. Super excited. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and add this to our pan. And we're just gonna get it nice and even in the bottom here. And I have my oven preheating to 350 degrees. 
and we are ready to put this into the oven. So 350 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes or until it is cooked completely through and a toothpick comes out clean. My pigs in a blanket pancake bake is out of the oven. You guys look how good this looks. It smells amazing. Sweet from the syrup, but a little spicy from the sausage. So I'm going to let this cool and then we'll cut it into servings, put it in the meal prep containers, and I'll be back to show you my breakfast and give you the smart points. Standing on the porch in the night, thinking how we used to be way back in time, in time. Put on the grass, open skies. I can feel it every time I so here is my completed breakfast prep. Look how delicious this looks. I'm really excited about this. I did taste a little bit and it is so good. It has just a hint of sweetness from the maple syrup, but it's got that really good sausage pancake flavor. So what I'm gonna be having each day is I went ahead and cut my pancake bake, as you saw, into eight servings. And I'm gonna be pairing that with just a little bit of maple syrup on top and maybe some spray butter. One eighth of the Pigs in a Blanket pancake bake is only seven smart points. And that is on the green plan. I will put all of the points for all of the plans here on the screen for you. And they will be down with the recipe in the description box. Again, I'm going to just put a little spray butter and a little splash of sugar-free syrup. And then I'm just gonna pair that with a couple of cuties. So this entire breakfast, you guys, sausage pancake bake is only seven smart points. For my lunches this week, I'm gonna be making chicken lettuce cups. So we have a little bit of a Chinese vibe going on this week for lunch. I'll pair this with a fruit and maybe something sweet for dessert. So let me show you what is in our lettuce cups. First, you're going to need some minced garlic, soy sauce, PB2 or powdered peanut butter of your choice, rice, wine, vinegar, sesame oil. You'll need some fresh green onions, Chinese five spice and red chili pepper flakes. I am substituting regular honey for my nature's hollow sugar-free honey. This is my favorite thing, you guys. This is so good. It tastes just like the real thing and it is only one smart point per tablespoon instead of, I believe, four smart points or six smart points per tablespoon of regular honey. Great, great alternative. Hands down, the best alternative I've found for honey. I did pick this up off of Nettrition's website. The link is down below. So definitely check it out. That's where I picked up this sugar-free honey. You'll also need some lettuce leaves. The recipe calls for butter lettuce, but none of my leaves were big enough to make a wrap. So I went ahead and went with just some red leaf lettuce. And lastly, some ground chicken. Mine here is the 96.4. So let's get started on our lunches. So the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and add our pound of 96% or higher if you can find it, fat-free chicken to our pan. We're just gonna let this cook down and then we're gonna go ahead and make up the sauce and we'll be adding that directly to the chicken. So while our chicken is cooking, let's put together the sauce for our lettuce cup. So first I need one quarter cup of light soy sauce. And to that, we're gonna add three tablespoons of powdered peanut butter or PB2. And then we have two tablespoons, I'm sorry, one tablespoon of sugar-free honey. So there's that. Mm, yum. And then we have two teaspoons of our rice wine vinegar and one teaspoon of our sesame oil which you guys is a must for this recipe. That's what really gives it that really good Chinese or Asian taste. So don't skip the sesame oil. My points are figured using just the one teaspoon, so it's not even very much. We're gonna go ahead and add in two cloves of minced garlic. And lastly, our red chili pepper flakes. I do not like my food really spicy, so that's about the extent of that. And then we're gonna add in kind of the star of our show, our Chinese five spice. And we want about a half of a teaspoon of that. Ooh, it doesn't want to come out. There we go. And then we're going to give that a mix together and just set this aside as this is now the delicious sauce that's going to go into our chicken. So my ground chicken is cooked completely through. I did go ahead and drain any of the excess liquid. And then to that, we are simply going to add in the sauce that we prepared. And we're gonna let it soak into the chicken for about five minutes or so. We wanna make sure that all of this chicken gets coated and this sauce really just becomes flavorful mixed in with this chicken. And this looks delicious as well. So I'm gonna let this cook down about five more minutes and then we're ready to assemble our meal prep. 
So for the chicken lettuce cups, the assembly is gonna to have to be separate just so that everything doesn't get mushy while it's waiting to be eaten. So in my bowl here, look at this. This looks so good, it smells divine. This is our chicken lettuce wrap mixture. I did go ahead and cut up some green onions and I went ahead and washed and separated eight of the red leaf lettuces so that I can have two lettuce cups per day. Grabbed out some sandwich bags and then of course my meal prep container. So what I want to do first is in a sandwich bag, I'm going to divide out my green onions because this way I can assemble my lettuce cups when I'm going to eat them rather than having all of this sitting in with the mixture. I'm gonna go ahead and pop in two lettuce leaves. So again, I want two cups per day and whatever mixture is left, if there is any, I'm just gonna eat it separately. So there we go, we've got our lettuce and our green onion mixture. So we're gonna set that aside. And then in our meal prep container in the small side, we're gonna go ahead and put in one quarter of the chicken mixture. That way we can warm this up before we combine our lettuce and meat mixture together each day we can pop this into the microwave and then in the large side is where i'm actually going to put my lettuce and green onion mixture and then when i go to eat it i'll pull this out and warm that up and i'm going to pair my lunch here with a bag of red grapes so this is going to be my lunch i may throw in a sweet treat we'll just kind of have to see but of course i'll show that when i show you guys my snack so let's put together the rest of our lunches we're making four total So here is my lunches. I'm so excited about this, you guys. It looks delicious. So I have one fourth of the chicken and sauce mixture. This is the only thing in this lunch that's going to have points. So of course, I will put all the points here on the screen for all three plans. And then I'm also gonna pair that with the green onions and lettuce. So we're just gonna wrap it up in some lettuce, sprinkle it with some green onions, and then we're just gonna pair it with some red grapes as a fruit. So the fruit is zero, the lettuce and onions are zero, and one fourth of the chicken and sauce mixture is three smart points on the green plan. So you guys, this entire lunch, three smart points. For a sweet treat this week, we're gonna be making rum raisin bars. These are perfect for New Year's. Something you can take to a New Year's celebration and help you stay on track and be delicious to others. They'll never know they're WW friendly. So let me show you what is in our rum raisin bars. First, you'll need some rum, one quarter cup of water, golden raisins, wheat checks, brown sugar alternative of your choice. I'm gonna be using the monk fruit golden, all purpose flour, baking soda, maraschino cherries, eggs, light butter, and unsweetened coconut. So let's get started on these rum raisin bars. So the very first step is we need to go ahead and take one cup of our golden raisins. We're gonna add it here to a bowl, and then we're gonna dump over one half of a cup of the rum, and I'm just gonna kinda give it a quick mix. We're gonna cover this up with some saran wrap, and this is gonna go in the fridge for an hour while we put together the rest of our bars. That way they can kinda soak up all that deliciousness. Next, we need to crush up our cereal. So I have a large Ziploc bag and two and a quarter cups of my wheat checks. I'm gonna go ahead and place all of that into a bag. And then with a rolling pin or whatever it is that you wanna use, we're just gonna take it and crush up our cereal until our cereal is into smaller pieces. Not necessary, a necessarily like a flour texture, but just into smaller pieces if you can kind of see that. That's kind of the size of the pieces that you want. So get your cereal all crushed up. Into a large bowl, we're gonna go ahead and put our brown sugar. You can see that I ended up with two different kinds. I actually ran out of my monk fruit, so I did the rest in sucrin. So that's why it's a little bit different. And now I'm out of all my brown sugar. So it's a good thing that I put it in a nutrition order a few days ago, so it should be here soon. So get your brown sugar in there. It's a quarter, or I'm sorry, a half of a cup packed brown sugar. To that, we're gonna add in half of a cup of light butter. This is exactly half of a cup left in this container. I did weigh it out on my food scale. So we're gonna go ahead and add that in. 
And then we're gonna go ahead and add in one quarter cup of water. Now you can add a quarter cup of additional rum if you wanted. I did not do that only because I didn't wanna account for more points in the bar. So I just decided to go ahead and do water. And then you're gonna crack one egg into your bowl. We're going to give this a stir until it is nice and combined, and then we're going to be ready to add in the rest of our raisins and all of that delicious rum. So we're ready to put together the rest of our rum raisin bar. So I've got my mixture here as combined as I can with that butter. To that, we're going to go ahead and add one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. I'm sorry, one and three quarters cups. First, I thought it was one and a half, and then I'm glad I re-looked at the directions because it's one and three quarters cup. And then we're also going to add one cup of our unsweetened coconut flakes. And I'm just going to kind of stir as I go. I just want to make sure everything gets nice and incorporated. We're also going to add in that bag of our crushed up checks. What an interesting recipe. So it should be really good, but it's interesting a lot of the ingredients that we're putting into this. So there are our checks. We're also going to add in four ounces of roughly chopped maraschino cherries. And then we're gonna add in one teaspoon of baking soda. So I have a teaspoon here. And we're just gonna measure out one. And then lastly, we're gonna add in our rum soaked raisins. So go ahead and add all of that. Give that another stir. Make sure everything is nice and combined and then we'll be ready to get this into our baking dish. So we have our bar mixture nice and mixed together. You guys, it actually looks and smells really good. And then I have a nine by 13 pan here that I've sprayed with some non-stick cooking spray. So we're just gonna go ahead and add in our bar mixture get it spread out as evenly as we can into the bottom of our pan. And this is going to go into our 350 degree oven for 25 to 30 minutes. And then we'll pull it out, let it cool, and we'll cut it into servings. So I will give you a heads up that this recipe actually makes 36 servings. So it's gonna be fairly a small sized bar. And then of course you can adjust the servings if you want to add, you know, less, if you want less servings for more points, you can certainly do that. But I'm gonna show you 36 servings because I wanna show you what the recipe says that it makes and give you the smart points for that. So let's get this spread out into the bottom of our pan and we'll get it into the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. My Our rum raisin bars are out of the oven. These look delicious. So I'm gonna let these cool for just a few minutes. I'm gonna cut them into 36 squares and I'll be back to show you the serving size and give you the smart points. So here it is cut into 36 squares. I had to remove a couple squares. I'm gonna have one later as a snack and let me show you the serving. So this is what it looks like. So this is a small plate and this is it in the middle. But I want you to look at how thick that is, look at that, yum. It is packed full of coconut, raisins, maraschino, cherries. I did try it. You can definitely get that little kick of rum, but it is so good, you guys. It is dense and filling and delicious. So if you cut your bars into 36 servings like I did here, and again, this is the size of the bar, I would say that it's about one inches wide and maybe two inches long, it is only three smart points. And that is three smart points on any plan. So again, it's a great thing to have on hand for a New Year's get together, something you can bring to the party that you can eat for a sweet dessert, and it's only three smart points. Now, if you wanna cut them into bigger squares, that's definitely a possibility as well. You would just have to recalculate your points, but three smart points for one 36th of our rum raisin bars. So here are my snacks for the week. So first let's start with Built Bar. Of course, as you know, if you follow my channel, this is my morning snack every day. It is the one thing that keeps me full and satisfied. I change up my flavors every day, but I wanted to show you guys the mocha chocolate cream and let you know that this flavor, as well as the lemon chocolate cream and strawberry chocolate cream are being discontinued. So they will no longer be available once the supply has sold out. So if the mocha chocolate 
lemon chocolate or strawberry chocolate cream are your jam, head on over to builtbar.com. They are only $30 a box right now. So that's a $6 savings. And then if you use my code here on the screen, you'll get an additional 10% off and free shipping, making those boxes only $27. That is a steal for 18 Built Bars. And again, the flavors that are part of that promotion are mocha, strawberry, and lemon. They are all three smart points per bar. Here's some of your nutritional information. So 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, and four fat. So because of all of that fiber, fat, and protein, it keeps you nice and full. And for three smart points for a candy bar, pretty darn good deal. Also that 10% off and free shipping is good for any product on the Built Bar website, including the Built Boost. I just wanted to give you a heads up that these three flavors are being discontinued. So head on over to Built Bar, pick yourself up some bars and especially those three flavors before they are gone. And then I'm also going to have some popcorn. Sounds really good. So I think I may have this in the afternoon, maybe pair it with a cheese stick or a yogurt, but this is the Jolly Time Healthy Pop 100. And this is the butter flavor, which is my favorite, butter and sea salt. So that's gonna be a great afternoon snack. And then with lunch for a sweet treat, I think I'm gonna do one of the Smart Baking Co's Keto Friendly Smart Muffins. These, you guys, are delicious. This is the banana nut. I love the pumpkin. They also have a chocolate chip. These are so good. Here is your nutritional information. So 113 calories, zero sugar, 10 fiber, and eight grams of protein. And these muffins, you guys, are huge. They are huge, huge muffins. And guess what? This entire muffin banana nut, three smart points. That's it, you guys, for this muffin that literally fills the palm of my hand. I love them. Oh, it was upside down. So you didn't even get a good view. Sorry, guys. That is what the muffin looks like. So this is the banana nut muffin. And these are, again, three smart points a piece. They are keto friendly, three points. You can't beat it for a huge muffin. I warm it up in the microwave for just a couple seconds. So good. I'm obsessed with this one and the pumpkin. You can buy these on the Smart Baking Co. website. My discount code is here on the screen. It'll give you 10% off. This is the same company that makes the smart buns and the smart cakes. So while you're placing an order, you can stock up on all of your favorites. So morning or lunch dessert, morning snack, afternoon snack with probably a cheese stick. So those are my snacks for the week. Thank you for joining me on another weekly WW meal prep. I hope you are as excited as I am, not only for the recipes that I shared, but also because I am now giving you points for all three plans just to make your life a little bit easier. Absolutely my pleasure to do this for you. I am here to help you on your WW journey. So if you are new to WW or new to my channel, I'd love it if you would take a moment and subscribe hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Also, I wanted to let you know that I do include all of the recipes for my meal prep down in the description box below. So just click the little down arrow below my video and it'll open up the description box. Also are all of the links and codes to save you money on your favorite and my favorite WW product. So it's a win-win. Also, thumbs up this video if you love meal prep and of course, comment down below. Let me know which of these recipes are you most excited about and how happy are you to have points for all three plans. Thank you guys so much for watching. Happy Monday and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Funny how the story goes, little hope but bigger dreams. Uh -huh.